This new universe has just started and is it going to end? Why? So guys, how are you? I hope you are well, I am the Monio, the interdimensional demon who talks the most about DC animations on YouTube, and you are on my channel. The new DC Animation Universe, also known as Tomorrowverse, already had some films, and was slowly connecting the characters and stories, to probably make a Justice League film in the future, or some film that they can use all these characters, and the most ironic thing is that they will do it, but it will be the film that ends the universe. But the Monio, we already had a Justice League movie, which was Justice League Warworld. And I tell you that no, Warworld is not a Justice League film. This title doesn't make sense, just like many things in this film don't make sense, see my full review of Warworld, and you'll understand, link in the cards. But about the Tomorrowverse, I'm not the biggest fan in the world of this animation universe, but overall I thought they were cool, many films had problems, but were fun, the film Justice Society for example, is very cool, both Batman films that adapt the long Halloween are competent films overall, and I really think this universe had potential. But the saddest part isn't even knowing that this universe will end much sooner than it could, but rather the way it will end. I don't know about you, but this trailer didn't excite me at all, and the reason is very simple. This film apparently will not show the variants of the heroes, with the original drawing styles of their animations, and this, in my opinion, is a bad decision by the direction, since in the animation House of Mystery, which serves as a prelude to these films, we see Constantine being represented with the drawing style of this animation, but we also see the variant of Constantine from the previous animated universe, and he has the same art style as before, that is, there are two characters, with two different art styles being shown to the same time. Something similar happens in a scene from My Adventures with Superman, where several versions of Superman are shown, and each one has the visual style of their own animation, which are very different from the style we have in the series, and this is incredible, all the world vibrated in this scene, because it really is very cool, it immediately brings nostalgia to those who have watched these other animations, so why not put this in a film that will deal precisely with variants of characters from other universes that have already been animated. Crisis on Infinite Earths was a big event in DC Comics, which is when they decided that they would consider all the publications that had come out so far as a multiverse, and they would create a story in which this multiverse was destroyed, and it was even at that moment that that all these alternative lands are catalogued and numbered. When the multiverse is destroyed, there is only a single Earth left at the end, or a single universe, causing the stories in those comics to become interconnected in a large shared universe, just as happens in the MCU. And one of the coolest things about this story is that practically all the characters that were used in the previous comics appear at some point in this story, even if they are just making small appearances or dying, and that was one of the coolest things about this saga, seeing that specific version of the character that you read about at some point, and knowing that his universe was destroyed, that gave weight to the deaths, and made everything more impactful, and that's something we probably won't have in the animated version. In fact, we will even have variants of the characters, but these variants don't differ much from the characters that are already from the Tomorrowverse, and when I say that they don't differ I'm talking about the style of the drawing used, since they are all in the same style as the Tomorrowverse. This film could be a great tribute to all DC animations until then, just like the comic was, using versions of the characters that have already been used, providing great fan service for those who are fans and have been following these animations for years. Think about Superman for example, there are so many versions that have already been created, with such cool aesthetics, they could use any of these, but what we have is this, two practically identical Superman with the same visual style, and that is tedious in so many levels, because you don't create a connection with the characters. For example, in a certain scene in the trailer, we can see Ultraman, the variant of Superman that appears in the film Justice League Crisis on Two Earths. Think about how much cooler it would be if he appeared like this, with the same look as his animation, all fans who would watch the film would feel much more immersed in the idea of the multiverse. We also have this scene with this variant of Batman, which for a moment I even thought was Batman from the film Public Enemies, but as you can see it's very different, but my point is, how cool would it be if it were the same Batman? And I understand that this film is probably a consequence of the many recent restructurings that Warner made in its animation division, in which several animations were cancelled, such as Young Justice for example, 
probably the Tomorrowverse had many other films planned to gradually develop the characters and the universe as a whole, but at some point, someone at Warner saw that the films weren't earning as much, or perhaps they weren't well evaluated and decided to take advantage of the moment to adapt one of DC's great sagas, comics, perhaps the greatest saga of all comics. In fact, the films were no longer receiving much budget, you can see a clear difference in the quality of the first film in this universe, which is Man of Tomorrow, with the last film until then, which is War World, with much simpler features, animation locked and uninspired scenarios, this film was probably made with the expectation that this universe would end, because you can feel the lack of whimsy and inspiration in the direction and script. But the Monio, does this mean this will be the end of DC animation? I believe not but there must be some restructuring after this film, some restructuring not only in DC films, but in Warner Animation as a whole. Recently we had the Mortal Kombat animated film with John Cage, and according to news this would be the last Mortal Kombat film in this batch of films, because they will probably focus the next films on the new game and the franchise that rebooted the story. So I believe that this will not be the end of DC's animated films, because there are still many comics that they can adapt into isolated sagas, but due to Warner's current situation, they may no longer want to do an animated shared universe, and just continue adapting the films in isolation, something that already happened before, as DC only started making a shared universe of animated films after the film Flashpoint Paradox. Before that, we only had separate animations, and on the one hand it was bad because they didn't release these films as often, but the films were clearly more sophisticated, with bigger budgets, which resulted in very beautiful animations with fluid and dynamic fights. See this fight from the movie Superman and Batman Apocalypse, for example. Look at this fight between Wonder Woman and Bart against the female Furies. This is much better animated than anything we have today. But the Monio, aren't you exaggerating a little, as this is just the first trailer. Perhaps this animation is holding many surprises and impactful outcomes like what happened in the Justice League Apocalypse War animation? Well. I wanted to be optimistic like that, but I find it very difficult, I'm really very disappointed with everything I saw in this trailer, for me it indicates that even though there are three films, Crisis on Infinite Earths will be adapted in the most generic way and little inspired as possible. But what about you, did you like the trailer? Are you excited about the film? Leave it in the comments, and if you like the content, subscribe to follow the next ones, I love DC animations and I'm always talking about them here on the channel. That's it my people, until next time, Demonic Hogs.